Are you looking for a quick and easy way to put a donation button on your website? Well, this is it. All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a donation button to your website in like five minutes. It's a very quick and very simple, no frills, no thrills, donation button. Now, first, I wanna let you know who this is for. A simple donation button like this isn't gonna be used for like your donation page where you're actually taking in information about your donors and you want to thank them and give them that kind of information, right? It's not gonna be used for a very large campaign where you're trying to raise 10, 20, $30,000 for a long-term major project. But it's great for one-off campaigns where you need a quick $500 for an emergency use. Or if you really are just stuck in a bind, you have no other way to raise money, but you wanna get funds raised quickly, you can get this button on your website and start taking donations quickly. The requirements to do this are one, you need a WordPress website, and two, you need a PayPal account. If you have all of those, then let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is the plugin we'll be installing. It's called the Accept Donations with PayPal plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can visit this page. On this page, you'll see some instructions on how to install it. You'll see reviews, when it was last updated, uh, and information like that. Also, if you need support, this is where you'll wanna go. So here I am logged into WordPress in the back end. Now, to install this, we simply wanna go to Plugins on the left-hand side here and click Add New. Once here, we're gonna go in the right-hand search area and we're gonna type in, or just paste in, in this case, the plugin name, Accept Donations with PayPal. You'll see here in the left-hand side is the first plugin that shows up. Simply click Install Now. Once it's installed, go ahead and click Activate. Great, now you have it installed, and it's fairly simple. Installing a plugin in WordPress, not a big deal. Now we go into the configuration. The configuration is relatively simple, but there's a few little things you're going to notice in here that are just a little bit off or peculiar, so pay special attention to this part of the video. Now you'll be on your plugin page, and you should see here, right here at the top, the Accept Donations with PayPal plugin is here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the settings. To do this, on the left-hand side, we're going to go to PayPal Donations and click on Settings. This will take us to the main settings page. The top section here is the How to Use area. You can go ahead and read through this, but for the most part, this is what we're going to cover in the video. So let's move on down. You can see here is the language and currency, so you can set this to your language and currency. Now let's go ahead and move on down to the PayPal account. This is where you add your PayPal account information simply by adding the email address to your PayPal account. Below this is the Sandbox account. We're not gonna configure this because the Sandbox account is optional and also requires a PayPal development account. That gets a little bit technical, so we're just gonna skip on down to the other settings. In this section, you can pick the default button style. You have a choice between small, large, big, big without credit cards, big with credit cards, so pick the one that you want to choose here. You also do have the option to add a custom image in this section here. Now, in the settings below, you can see we have a few options on how to configure how the button responds when we click on it. When they click on a button, you can have the PayPal payment area open in a new page, or if you like, have it open on the same page. We're just gonna click same page. Then we have the option on whether we want to include a note. We're buyers or donors in this case can leave a note. We're gonna go ahead and select that. And then we have the option to collect shipping information, which in this case, we're not gonna do, but you could put yes, and you could also make it yes required. And the final two options are the cancel URL, where someone goes if indeed they cancel the donation before they proceed, this is the page they'll get redirected to, and the return URL, where they go once they make their donation. I recommend do making a thank you page and redirecting a donor to the thank you page after they make their donation. But for simplicity's sake and the sake of this demo, we're just gonna return them to the home page of our website. Once these settings are done, go ahead and click Save. Great, once you save this, you'll see up here, it'll say that your settings have been updated. Great, so now we're ready to go ahead and create our donation button. To do that, you simply go here on the left-hand side and click on Buttons. All right, so we're actually going to create three different buttons because there's several different ways to create the button, and we'll go over that now. So first, we're going to go up here to the top right-hand side 
to where it says new PayPal donation button. Go ahead and click on that. And now you're on the button settings page. This top section here is the, the main section. This is where you're going to give the name of your button or the purpose. Um, in this case, we're just going to call it buy textbooks. And then the next line is the dollar amount. So you can put a fixed amount in here, and we are going to do that. We're going to just put $50. That means no matter what they want to donate, they're going to donate 50. They don't have any other options. Next is the donation ID. We're going to just skip that for now. Below this is the language and currency. We're going to leave these at the default settings. Below that is the other settings, and that's the PayPal account, the return URL, and the button size. We already set those up, and we're not going to override those. Next is the show purpose, the show donation amount, and the show currency. Now, these uh, settings do affect how the button works, so we're going to go ahead and go over these. First, the show purpose name. Well, that's up here under purpose name. We're going to go ahead and just turn that on. Show donation amount. Also, we're going to turn that on. Now, it's good to know that if you don't have a donation amount in here, then this show donation amount isn't going to show anything. So if you end up leaving this blank, which we'll do in a later button that we create, um, there's no need. This isn't going to do anything. This on-off button won't have any effect. Finally, there's the show currency. Now, most people probably know what currency they're donating in, US dollars, Canadian dollars, euros, whatever. Um, so we're just going to leave this off, but if for some reason you want to have that on there, go ahead and turn this on. And then the drop-down menus below, that is an option for a different type of button, which we're going to create later. So we're done creating this button. Let's go ahead and save the PayPal donation button. Great, we've created our first button. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put this onto a, a post. So what we have to do here is this short code here, we're going to go ahead and just scroll over it and copy it. I just did control click to copy that. And now I'm going to go over to post over here. And I'm actually going to create a new one. And I'm going to right click and open this in a new window um, just so that I can jump back and forth. Since I'm creating multiple buttons, I want to go back and forth to these pages without having to uh, open them up and uh, over each other. So this is just going to save some time. So now on the add new post page, we're just going to put a little sample title in here and we're going to put um, PayPal button example. Now, for the most part, you'd want to put some type of content in here, right? You'd want to say, hey, we're raising money for textbooks. We need 100 textbooks for the first grade class. Um, and our, our goal is to raise $500. Like, you would put something in here. But we'll just add some sample text here. Great. And then we're going to click below this, which um, opens up um, just another way to type in some stuff. We're not going to type in anything here. We're actually going to go to this plus sign over here and click on it. And in the search box, we're going to type in short code. There it is. We're going to just click on that. And that short code we just copied, we're um, going to paste right here. So now we have the short code pasted in there. So this is ready to test. Now we're just going to go over here to the right and publish this. Once it's published down here at the bottom right, you can see there's a view post option. And again, I'm just going to open that in a new window. All right, so we have this set up. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. There is our very simple basic test here. You can see uh, this is our title and here's that content we put in there. Uh, the title of the button by textbooks $50 and the donate button right here. Great. And if I click this donate button, it sends me to PayPal entry site. And right here I have the option to donate with PayPal or donate with a credit card. I'm just going to click on that one really quick here for you. And here you go. Uh, write a note option here. Basic form to fill out here. And at the bottom, um, a way to donate. All right, we'll go into a little more detail about this part here later on in this video. But uh, right now, we're just going to cancel and return to, um, it actually says return to Noble Pauls on there, but uh, that's because I'm using my Noble Pauls nonprofit account. Okay, so now um, return, cancel, sent us back to the main page of the, our website, which is what we set up in our settings. All right, cool. All right, let's go back and make another button. Back here in the buttons area, let's go ahead and create a new PayPal button. I call this, um, we'll just call it button two. And this time we're going to leave the donation amount empty. Again, we're not going to put in the donation ID. We're going to skip all these defaults. We'll go ahead and show the name again so that we know that this is button two. And show amount isn't going to matter. Whether this is on or this is off isn't going to have any effect because we're not putting in a donation amount. The idea behind this donation 
is that people can put in whatever amount they want. So it's just going to be a button that they click on and then they put the amount in later. So let's go ahead and save this PayPal button. And again, for button number two, we're going to select the short code. Go ahead and copy that. Now let's go back to that post page. And again, we're going to add another short code here below it. I'm just going to click here and I'm going to add short code there. Here's my short code widget box. I'm going to paste in the new short code that I just copied. And we're going to update this page. Okay, right, so now we should have two buttons on there. Let's go ahead and go to this post. And there we have it. So our top button, buy textbooks, $50, donate. We tried that one already. And now button number two, it's just a donate button. Because what happens is when we click the donate now button, we go to PayPal. And now we can enter our own amount. So maybe I want to put $300 or $30 or $310, $3,010. Perfect, right? Now, there is a little bit of deception here. This isn't accurate. Um, one time monthly and yearly it doesn't work unless you get the advanced plugin or you have an advanced uh, account with with PayPal. And this might just be happening because my account settings, because if I try one of these, you're going to see I'm going to go to monthly. And if I try to do this, I'm going to get a little warning right here telling me, uh, hey, you need a better PayPal account to do this. So I'm not sure if this is a PayPal issue or a plugin issue, but if this happens to you, then I would suggest contacting the plugin maker through the WordPress plugin website and asking them for some help. And now finally, we're going to go ahead and create one more button. Go back to the button area here. And we're going to create a new PayPal button. And this time we're going to create a drop down button. So purpose of uh, this, we'll just call it drop down. We're going to leave all these empty. You know what? I'm going to be creative here. I'm going to change my button size. I'm going to change yeah, everything here is going to be empty, except I'm going to change this button size. I'm going to go with um, big two English only. So just a cleaner, cleaner way of doing that. Now down below here, we're going to add our drop down. So your drop-down menu is going to need a name. And that's where you enter it here. And in this case, we're just going to help our donors by typing in how many books. We're doing a book fundraiser, so how many books do you want to buy? And so then you have the option area here and the amount. So the option would be uh, one book, two book, three book, which you're going to see. And then the amount that that donation is going to cost them, $10, $50, or whatever. So what we're going to do, you're going to see here, I'm actually going to put in one book I'm going to put the amount in the, the title here so that when they see the drop down, they'll see how much they're donating because the amount of the donation isn't going to show up, even though I'm going to tell it right now here in this section, the amount of the donation is worth is $10. I'm going to do the same for two books, $20. You can see here I added the $20. And then for calculation purposes, I let them know that the amount is $20. And then here, $50. And here I'll add 50. This will make more sense when you see the button in action. All right, cool. So now we created a drop down button. We're going to go ahead and save that. And here is the drop down button short code. Let's go ahead and copy that. Go to the post. And again, here at the bottom, we're going to hit the plus sign on the post. We're going to type in short code, paste in the short code there. Now we have three buttons on one page. Update this. Go ahead, right click, open this in a new tab to have a look at it. And now you'll see there's a third button down here. This one right here. How many books? That's the title. And you can see here that $10 that I added in the options area is right here. And you can see each one has that. If you don't do that, then people aren't going to know how much they're donating. They just know that they're donating for one, two, or five books, but they don't know how much they're actually donating. Cool, let's go ahead and test this. Let's say we're doing two books. Click on that. Great, and here you see the donation page again. Okay, let's go on back. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this widget to a sidebar. Um, and that's a pretty easy thing to do. So if your website has a sidebar, like if I go to my latest news here real quick and I click here, you can see there's a sidebar here, right? And this is the main sidebar and it's in the widgets area. And so if we wanna create a donation button in our sidebar, this is how you do it. Let's go ahead and go back to the back end of our WordPress site. Okay, so here we are back in the back end. We're 
um, on the button creation page. What you want to do to get to your sidebar area is go to Appearance, Widgets. Go ahead and click on that. And here you can see this is my main sidebar. Um, and if you go down, you'll see there's already a donation button here. That's a, a, another donation platform that we installed on this site. But right now we're doing the PayPal one. So here at the bottom of this sidebar, we're going to click Add Block. And now, simply here in the widget area, we just type in Donate. And you can see here is the PayPal donation button. Click on that. You can give it a name. The interesting thing with this widget name um, is that it doesn't work. In other words, you can put whatever widget name you want in here. It doesn't show up on the sidebar. So that might just be a glitch with the plugin, or the plugin just might not work with this. Um, this is kind of a new sidebar area that WordPress recently added. All right, now let's pick which button we want to show up by clicking Choose an Existing Button. Let's go ahead and do the $50 fixed amount. And add that there and to make things a little easier to find I'm going to drag on these six dots here I'm gonna put this at the very top above this all right cool now let's go ahead and update this and now if I go back to that latest news page and I just refresh this page you should see my PayPal button right up here by textbooks simply click the donate button and it takes me to PayPal so I can make the donation hey well there you go folks if you need a donation button in a pinch this isn't a bad option, right? It works, it's quick, it's easy to install. May not be the best long-term solution for you. There are better options for that, and we have other videos on those plugins. But if you need something quick, easy, and right away, and just you don't have options, put this thing on your website and start taking donations. Until next video, folks, thanks for watching.